Hello and welcome to All Top Fives. As it's October, we're looking at some more creepy corners of our world, and what better way to do that than to look at some of the latest images taken, supposed to contain ghosts. Number 5. Harry Houdini's Ghost 28-year-old Daniel Winter was attending a ghost hunt in Eastbourne, UK, at the Royal Hippodrome Theatre. He took this picture of the stage and said that it was only after he looked at the camera's screen that he could see the alleged spirit of Houdini. It's a tall, ghostly white figure standing near the back of the stage. It was too dark to see the stage properly with the naked eye, so Daniel and his ghost hunters didn't see the figure then. It certainly looks like a tall ghost, if that's what it is. It's misty and undefined, but definitely there. Harry Houdini was rumoured to have performed at this theatre many years before his death in 1926. But personally, I don't think that's enough of a connection to state that it's his ghost on the stage there. Still though, what could that figure be in the photo? Many theatres are purportedly haunted in the UK, so could this be a ghostly appearance of an actor's spirit long since passed on? Number 4. Pub Ghost At the Griffin Inn in Wakefield, UK, a ghost hunter, Andrew Williamson, managed to get a pretty good photo of what he claims was a ghost. Here's the picture. It shows a female entity that the pub's owners claim has been haunting the place, throwing glasses around and making her presence felt for years. The figure is well defined, though transparent, and you can clearly see the outline of the back of her old-fashioned dress, her head, her arm, her bum and her legs, and she seems to be staring at the wall. Creepy. Now I'm assuming this isn't just a double exposure hoax, a trick which is very easy to do and shows this kind of effect. It definitely looks like a watch on the ghost's wrist as well, which may hint that it's a hoax. Do ghosts wear watches? I don't know. Still, if we assume Andrew did use his paranormal expertise to take the picture genuinely, it's a great photo of a restless spirit. What do you reckon? Number 3. Cat Ghost Yes, something quite radically different here. Stacey Bellette from Wilsonton, Queensland, Australia, claims to have been having paranormal experiences for decades since she visited a clairvoyant. She took this photo recently, which she claims shows the ghost of her deceased cat. Hmm. She's put three not-so-helpful arrows on the photograph. Well, the top one seems to be pointing at the cat's head, and the bottom one is at its paws, protruding from behind her back. But I don't really know what the left hand arrow is there for. It definitely looks a little like a cat if you keep staring at it closely and imagine a cat there, but I wonder if Stacy was perhaps looking at it a little too hard. Her other videos and images seem to show quite questionable ghost footage too. However, is it really so strange to believe that animal spirits can remain in our world and haunt the living the same way as humans do? I wonder. Number 2. School CCTV Ghost Time for a video! In Deer Park CBS School in Cork, Ireland, motion-activated security cameras had just been installed when they picked up this rather amazing paranormal activity, supposedly. Have a watch. The door at the end of the corridor opens and then slams violently shut by itself. Followed by a locker rocking back and forth as if someone were shaking it. Soon after, one locker flies open, spilling books and papers out. and the caution wet floor sign is tossed across the room. So, incredible footage of the paranormal, right? Well, maybe, but there are a couple of questions that I would want to ask. First, the security cameras are very high definition and frame rate and also include sound. Unusual, which makes me wonder if a camcorder was perhaps put on a tripod to set up a hoax. Additionally, if you look at the pictures on the wall on the right, the security camera's not very high up on the wall. I'd expect it to be almost at ceiling level, not that low, suggesting again that it may just be a camcorder setup. 
Could it just be a school project or a prank sold as a piece of ghost footage? But those criticisms are easily countered. Some security cameras are installed lower than usual. It's not impossible. And perhaps the school required sound on their security cameras. Again, it's not unheard of. So, what do you think? Genuine ghostly activity? Or a clever hoax? Number 1. Theatre Ghost Perth Theatre is an Edwardian auditorium in the centre of Perth, Scotland. It's recently been renovated and has been giving tours during that time before it opens. Alex Tosh, a theatre employee, was taking photos of the refurbishment in progress when he snapped this spooky figure traversing the upper levels of the theatre. It appears to show a ghostly grey spirit, either faceless and looking over the balcony, or moving across the upper balcony, also known as the gods. I think it's moving. The workman below, however, is oblivious to its presence, as was Alex until he looked at the images the following day. But what is it? Is it a trick of the light that makes a curtain or a reflection look like a ghost from the photographer's angle down in the stalls? Or is it the spirit of the Grey Lady, a well-known ghost of a barmaid who is believed to haunt the upper levels, the gods, in Perth Theatre? Who knows? But it's a fantastic photograph nonetheless. And that's it from all top fives for this week. Please remember to be civil when posting your comments, thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. You can hit the subscribe button for notifications of all my new videos, or you can click to support all top fives on Patreon. So peace and love to each and every one of you, and I'll see you all next time on All Top Fives.